In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to protect the data that you have in a worksheet or workbook. Now here I've provided an example with employees, their salary, benefits, and a simple column with formulas in it to add all of that up. Now say for instance, I want one person to be able to edit this range of data. I want a different person to be able to edit this range of data. And I want no one to be able to edit this formula here. Now what I need to do to do that is to protect the worksheet. However, first I'm going to show you how to make it so that nothing here can be edited unless you have a password. So to do that, let's go up to Tools and Protection. If you don't see Protection, click the two arrows going down and then go to Protect Sheet. Now what this is going to allow you to do is to set a password up here and make it so that no one can change anything in the cells unless they have this password to unprotect the sheet. So I'm going to enter a very simple password and now I'm going to talk about where it says underneath allow all users of this worksheet to. By default select locked cells and select unlocked cells will be checked. What that means is that when the sheet is protected you will still be able to select all of the cells to highlight them. However, you're not going to be able to do anything else. You can't insert a row or a column or sort. You can't even format the cells when the sheet's protected. But if you click these boxes here, say I check next to format cells, now when the worksheet is protected, the cells can still be formatted. In addition, I will click insert rows, and now a row can be inserted. However, a column cannot. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Now, someone tries to delete this, they can't because it says that it's protected and read only. So it doesn't matter what you try to delete or enter in, you can't. But what you can do is right click and format a cell. So you can format it to anything, say, make it bold. And you can enter a row, insert a row. However, you'll notice you cannot delete the row. So once you've inserted it, you can't delete it. And you cannot insert or delete a column. However, you can format the cells. Now you can't insert or delete because you did not select that when you went to protect the worksheet. Now, to unprotect the worksheet, simply go up to Tools, Protection, Unprotect Sheet, and enter the password. Now it's worth noting, you don't actually have to have a password. For instance, I can go to Tools, Protection, Protect Sheet, click OK. Now I can't enter anything. And then go and unprotect it, and it's unprotected without a password. Now. And the next thing I want to do is make it so that only one person can edit this and another person that. So in order to do this, go up to Tools, Protection. Make sure that your sheet is already unprotected. Then go to Allow Users to Edit Ranges. Select New. And type in how you want to name the range. then select the range. You can either type it in here or click this box and select the range of cells you want to be editable. Now I'm going to enter a password. Now I want a different person to be able to edit the numbers under total compensation. The reason I want that is because those are formulas. It's not actually numbers that I entered. Go to new. Select the cells. And type in a password. Now, in order
order for this to take effect, you have to protect the sheet. So I'm going to click Protect Sheet. And I'm going to uncheck Insert Rows and uncheck Format Cells, because I don't want that to be done. Now I'm going to enter the password. Now, this cell down here, no one can change. So I will try and delete it or enter something. can't be changed. However, if any of this data needs to be changed, say Tim gets a pay raise, try and enter data, and the password screen comes up. So all you have to do is enter the password, and now you can edit it. It's worth noting that once you've unlocked one cell within the range, the entire range that was password protected will then be editable. So you can edit any one of these now. However, you still cannot change that. And now when you go over here, say someone tries to change this formula, oh, you need another password. So it's a separate password for this, and now you can change that. And that's how you can make specific parts of your worksheet editable by different people, but yet still make other parts editable by no one. Now, if you need to edit the total annual cost formula here, you have to go up to Tools, Protection, and Unprotect the Worksheet. So when you unprotect the worksheet, it's going to make it so you can change this here. Now, the other thing you can do is to protect the workbook. What that means is, if I click, right-click a tab here, I have all these options, insert, delete, rename, etc., etc., move or copy. But, if I go to Tools, Protection, Protect Workbook, just type in a password. Now, when I right-click this tab, all of those options are blanked out. So I can't do anything with them. And that's how I can protect the workbook. However, I can still delete stuff within the worksheet. So it doesn't protect that. Now I'll go to Tools, Protection, Unprotect Workbook. And when I right click here, all the options come back. So that's how you can protect certain parts of data within a worksheet or an entire worksheet at once.